Which way? Which way, do you know? That way? Let's rock, let's go. Okay. All right. This is my friend Melvin. <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight. Happy New Year. That's great. Where's that coming from? You? What's coming from you? You looking for some groove for this song? remember the groove so that I can sing better with what the piano part, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Half the time it was pretty cool, right? Well, we still got part of the song, though, it? I'm getting into the singing, too, because I want to hit those onces. No, Who does that sound like? No, Who does that sound like? Once. You can do it the way you did it. Who does that sound like? Somebody no, we know. Who does that sound like? Once. Like technique. Once from the top. No, it's more like diaphragm technique. play the song but you can play the sound. What's that? I'm not doing the song but you can do the sound. <laughs> you're, you're gonna listen to a song in many different situations plus I'm gonna sing a song and I'm gonna feel very differently every time and I don't really want to act a part you know. I want to allow the song to happen. Let it happen, you know? Oh, great. And I, li I like songs, to s lyrics to sound natural, like speech, you know? Sometimes uh, there can be a very artificial sounding phrase, but I, I like the song to sound like speech. Maybe if you listen carefully, it doesn't make any sense or it's really complicated or something, but it sounds natural. It flows naturally. Hey, do you guys want to hear the noise before the song or the noise after the song? After the song! Wait, 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 wait. You know, I say, you know, prima or dopo, how do you say that, you know? Après, I know, I don't know before. Avant, of course, avant-garde, my God! Avant, okay, avant. Après.
obviously I use a lot of contrast, you know, between a smooth and a rough texture or something, you know. I like to try to create an equivalency between extremes, you know, because people tend to separate the way they listen to these different things, and I find that silly. exactly texture but sometimes you can divide sound into transparent and opaque if something is very harmonious it sounds transparent if something is very dissonant it's opaque almost sculptural you know almost palpable you know what I mean I like music that uh, wakes you up, you know what I mean? Even if the music is very quiet, it should make you more alert and more aware of yourself and your, your you know, pulse, you know, you know, your, and that's why one reason I love Brazilian music, it's so quiet, but it's not still. It has so much rhythm, you know, and there's so much freedom in, uh, in Bossa Nova, you know. The melody goes that way, the harmony goes that way, and whoa, it catches up, and da -da 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 -da. you know. It was some part. sure what I wanted to do, whether I wanted to be an artist or whether I wanted to be a dancer or an actor or I knew I wanted to be some kind of genius. Um, like I was really fascinated by conceptual art and by performance art, very early performance art, you know what I mean? And a lot of the improvising that we did in the beginning especially was connected to the idea of of improvising a form, <laughs> not just sort of free-for-all, you know what I mean? I've always found that very, very frustrating, you know what I mean? Especially for somebody like me who, who is very limited technically on his instrument. I needed some kind of concept or form or a structure, you know, to balance it out, you know what I mean? You need high standards, you need rigor, you know, you need discipline. You know what I mean? And the freer 
you want to be, the more you need that to take off from. Get up from your chair. Well, why not? Show me with evidence a pleasant disposition. They dream your way around the room. Walk right through frowns and gloom. You are one of those creatures who simply are. Uh -huh. Simply bien wise.
I was in a lot of different bands pretty quickly. Then I was in one, like DNA, then Lounge was just in Palominos. Then I was in more of a partnership in the band building. The Ambitious Lovers was me and one other guy, Peter Scher. And um, I still operate as if I'm in a band. Yeah. I mean, I work with the same group of people and trying to grow the, the thing, you know what I mean? I like the what happens when you let something grow. I met Ardo in a place called the Squat Theater, which was a popular club in New York. He had his band called DNA, and we used to rehearse, he used to rehearse there. And I used to be in a band called Defunct, and we used to play there, we played there every week. I used to keep my clothes there. I spent so much time there. And I went there one day to get my clothes, and his band was rehearsing downstairs. And I was, thought the band was really great. I went over and said hello, and here we are. The first day I started working there, the very first day, Ardo walked in. It's like, Melvin, I haven't seen you for, I've been looking for you. I didn't know how to, like literally, the first day I started working there. And, uh, started playing together again. Well, listen, try to help Vinicius find the relation between the two. Started doing a lot of stuff. And he was doing, at that time, he had just started the Ambitious Lovers. But it was, I guess, the first record to come out. But we used to do a lot of stuff where we would just play just me and him and uh, what they call a Escola de Samba, a samba school of maybe seven, eight guys. I'm it's just not... doing exactly the way last time we yeah. played it. I come in on that vamp. I don't know what was played. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. But I play for the vamp, the second yeah. verse, and the chorus. Then I'm out. Yeah, but it, does, it doesn't, if it was a, it's not a pseudo, it's a tom tom. I mean, the sound is the thing, you know? I mean, otherwise, we don't need samples, right? Why don't we try it? Uh, why don't we try Melvin's idea of doing it backwards? Sacou? Tu começa com a parte. Poderosa e volta pro. No final da música é a parte vocal com isso aí. Yeah, because if it slows down to for the vocal, if it slows down in the empty part, that's not going to be as drastic as it like. Ah! Well, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with ah either necessarily. You know? All right. Well, I mean, if everybody's happy with ah, then we go ah. I mean, you know. One at a time. Wait on both.
playing a funky drum machine. Okay. Then turn it around. Yeah, you turn it around. You turn it around. You're right. Forgive him. Blade by blade. I mean, Ardo's lyrics are very much poetic form as opposed to pop songwriting form, so he's kind of in the middle. I mean, that's kind of a question I don't know if I can ask, answer for him. I mean, it, theoretically, there is a difference, but like I said, one of, the thing that, one of the things that Otto is trying to do is trying to break down that barrier, so it's in between there somewhere. You know, you'll have some kind of really basic rhymes, and then you'll have something that's kind of just free, and you know, just any combination of the two. So it sounds weaker, so it sounds more like the old one. And then, 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 this is the time. It's not bad. Right? Much more of the tone I like. Dude, I'm taking this guy. Honey, you're going with me. So what would be the next song? The next song is Simply R. We work together because we're friends, not because of any sort of financial incredible financial reward either one of us is going to get. It's more kind of like we have the same, we think similarly about certain things. I understand what he wants to do with his music and he understands what I can contribute to it and we talk about, we talk a lot actually.
afraid of silence a lot of the time you know they're definitely afraid of silence in a musical context and uh, it makes me think of a lullaby you know um, the idea that music is related to fear all art is to fear you know and we're all afraid to die and, you know that's why we're afraid to grow up Associated, a place of disassociation, you know, where um, I can see the possibility of losing my mind. doesn't usually make me afraid. It's, it's fascinating and horrifying, you know what I mean? Because uh, part of the reason that people play music is to forget about themselves and, and to, rem you know, also to remember themselves, but, you know, both, you know, to be more than just uh, an individual, you know what I mean? To be some kind of vessel for something larger or to be part of a larger group, you know what I mean? be part of nature or something. You know? coming back from a tour from Europe and I went to New York to sing for the first time at the public theater and at the airport there was Arthur whom I didn't know and who 
looks indeed like an American. I saw you a few times on TV, but my mother became your fan before I did. It was very, very, I just, for some reason, I remembered the conversation the other day. Mothers are very useful. They are. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we, that's how we met. Right before I did, started The Ambitious Lovers. Ambitious Lovers. Yes, one of my favorite records is Greed. Ah, it's the, uh, the sequence of the songs, the songs themselves, the sounds, and the, uh, the mixing of Brazilian themes and American modern things. It's like one piece of work that sounds perfect to me and very rich. Fiquei louco com aquela divisão dele da, da, do ritmo regular, em regular, não regular e irregular. Né? Que o regular é qualquer é. coisa repetida, é. o irregular, irregular. É, é, é rítmico, quer dizer, bate nos assentos, acentua o ritmo, mas não se repete como no jazz e o não regular. Cara, eu tô é. há 20 anos tentando comunicar isso para o Melvin. Essa, essa diferença Melvin, de regular para o Melvin. Entre nós dois, entendeu? Para ele, pelo menos, me entender. De todos os músicos americanos que eu toco, tem que algum realmente sacar o que é o lance. Que eu escuto, eu não sei tocar, mas eu sei fazer. Entendeu? Sem muito cuidado Nesse seu andar Labirinto prata Papagaio no ar Sempre refeita a Chegar com o vento, tudo a lembrar. A risada que você me empresta, essa mesma, posso favor te devolver. Porém, a singeleza do seu gesto, essa é presente, deixa eu ficar razão. Estado de alegria, a luz que te realiza, esta luz pode estar. Ideograma, se você se veste, e agora se veste, que palavra vai assemelhar? A risada que você me empresta, essa mesma, faz o favor de devolver. Porém, a singeleza do seu gesto Essa é presente Ai. Deixa eu ficar His singing has a lot to do with bossa nova singing But it's not a bossa nova mm. singing He has some identification with the cool singers Like cool jazz singers mm -hmm. But it's not a jazz singer a lot of critics have a problem with the singing. They want to like it, but it's not singerly enough, you know? Well, and, but it, uh, and, it they, has, and they don't know, is it bad singing? It's something is it, yeah, well, it's something, it's else, something yeah. else. It's yeah. you. Yeah. You know? I'm not it's going you. to change. It's I'm not, I'm not it's going to change. It's your timbre. It's yeah. just like the sounds you, you put together and the words you choose. The words you choose and your guitar playing, you know, it all makes, now it's recognizable as a peculiar individual substance, musical, mu musical substance. This is it. In Odina, do you rule like before? Question. 
questions I should ask Are these the kinds of things I really Sometimes I make sounds that are so weak, you know, that uh, that makes me afraid. Steal all you can take Give it back I think, wow, there's such a distance between who I think I am and what's actually going on in my body, you know. But uh, I've never scared myself. I never made a sound that sounded like a wolf or something that I thought he would bite. You know, I'm not that kind of fear. I feel a common ground with Ardo because we both have the South American experience. I was actually born there, but he was raised there. I mean, it's two different countries anyway, but this like this ambiguous, you know, place where you're from. But sometimes he's more American, sometimes he's more South American. Um, he's very smart because he, like five years ago, he taken me and Melvin down to Bahia, so we took like a little studio and set up in this apartment in front of the ocean. It's really cool. Just wake up in the morning or late at night and 
and come up with grooves and ideas and go out in the street in the middle of carnival, come back at two in the morning and write some songs. And most, most of the material on the new record was written like that. Then we brought it all back here and to the studio. We did the whole record in this room. In the musician's credit below the song Undina, song number one, there are no strings on there, so it should just say horns arranged by. In Modlo's Manners, it should say acoustic guitars and percussion. Mainly this last two records, Melvin and myself have written 90% of the music. Writing words, he does everything on his own, you know. He writes really fast, like, just very kind of, if the moment is right, he'll come up with the whole song. I can't see my mouth, so it doesn't really matter where I say it, does it? But I can watch it to kind of get the vibe. Shall we? I'm here. Hey, man. Hey, Jean. Hey, man. Hey, Jean. Cool. Just wild? 
Hey, Jean. Gotta go. Hey, Jean. Gotta go. Hey, Jean. Can't talk. Hey, man. Later. I should... The later is late. Hey, man. Later. I know. That's pretty outdoorsy. Hey, Jean. Gotta go. Hey, Jean. Gotta go. Now, that was pretty realistic, that last one. You were moved, right? Tears at the, uh, at the Pro Tools. Say what? The last one was pretty... I, I, I could feel the, the, the icy winter breeze. I like it. Yeah, I think so too. This, the, my voice sounds better on that second song detached than on the record or any of the records or anything. That's the best recording of the sort of. Cut that section out and style. use it as your music video. Well, they're going to do the. They're just going to release a record from this, right? Yeah. I'm sure. No, with like ten minutes. Where are you guys from? Can we hear the DNA stuff? No, no. Not the mix stuff is not on. Okay. Here. Only the. To do the documentary. Yes, two boys are counted. I don't have too much decay, but I just do that. Play scrapbook. You want? When we started DNA, I thought that we would be instant pop stars, basing myself on what I liked in pop music. And I thought the more extreme what we did would be, the more we would attract people. You know what I mean? So I tried to do something really new and really different, and I uh, tried hard, you know? And uh, people just totally understood it in a different way. You know, like the so-called noise element, you know what I mean? To me, it seems, and has always seemed, very ecstatic to be connected to ecstasy in other states, passage into other states, you know what I mean? And uh, people interpret it as being aggressive, you know? Which I think had a lot to do with the historical moment. Yes. On that song? Yes. The guitar, my guitar? Yes. Eats the song. Okay. I'll Don't listen. make any aesthetic judgments tonight. You said the thing, this is loud. I'm the lead guitar. Right. I know what I'm doing. I should be loud. Okay. Because I was... I'll, I'll watch the dynamics. I'll hear the house. I don't okay. want to be playing my guts out and not to hear myself. No problem. I was just going to ask you if uh, that's it's the effect you want. And then there's the bossa nova thing and there's the funk thing. You know what I mean? Okay. When it's the guitar. It should be there. Well, it is. Uh, what I wanted to just bring uh, to your attention was that when you did your percussive uh, guitar playing, you were on top of the band and you were like a big blanket on top of them. That's exactly right. Fine. And it won't happen very often. Third time. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. You got the jam! Yeah. 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 You got the jam! You got the jam! Go ahead. Vamos. What? Blood rushes in, useless 
endlessly strong I hear the sound Sound drops out I don't hear Words buzz like flies Becoming fast Leave. 